He's God, our deliverer. Yes. Amen. Somebody say yes he, yes, yes, he is. Somebody say yes, he is. Yes, yes he, is. he is. Ain't that all right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Amen. Amen. We got it. Amen. 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 <laughs> Truly, the God that we serve is a good God. Amen. Worthy to be praised. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And you know, when we pick those songs out to sing Thursday, mm -hmm. I didn't know how they were going to fit in, but they were so appropriate. Amen. 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 For the testimonies yes. that we had Amen. tonight Amen. concerning Amen. how God had brought us through mm. yes. a storm that we were not truly expecting. Mm -hmm. They've been saying for some time that Kingsford Heights is tornado out. And yet, a lot of times we get the siren and it passes on over us. Mm -hmm. But this time, it was meant to be the way that it was. So we got a lot to give God praise for tonight. A lot to thank Him for. Amen. And I know we wasn't the only little town hit. I understand Stark County got hit pretty good. Uh, also, I, I heard some uh, Hannah got hit a little bit. And a lot of the counties on that end mm -hmm. uh, of 6 uh, and 39 and 30, amen, uh, they were also hit by the, the one that we were hit by. And there were more tornadoes other than just the one that we had. Uh, there was some that came through uh, on the upper end of 35 and mm -hmm. took out a little building. And I don't know what else it did, but we also know that the corn was laying down flat and most of the people was concerned about Burex corn. <laughs> Amen. Because we all love Burex corn. And uh, we don't know if that was his cornfield or not, but it was laying flat, something that we have never seen in mm -hmm. this area. I have never seen anything like that before, mm -hmm. but the wind was so fierce that it just went through and knocked the cornfield down flat. And, uh, and I, I've heard that if the sun, when the sun comes out, the sun will bring it back up. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if some of it got broke off or not. But if it's just laying down, you know, possibly the sun will raise it yeah, back up. Yeah. So let's give God praise for what he has done. Yeah. And how he's taking care of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we pray that we don't have another episode like that in the next few months. Because mm -hmm. you never know what can happen, amen? Mm -hmm. But we ask God to continue to, to uh, bless us uh, in whatever comes our way. Amen. Amen? Amen. If you have your Bibles tonight, I want you to go to, first of all, go to, uh, let's, let's start at Matthew. Matthew 8. I don't know how this is going to go tonight. A little tired in my body. But I've prayed and asked the Holy Spirit to come in among our services. Amen. Amen. And to bless us. And I think we've already had church. I, I don't Amen. know about nobody else, but I think we, Thank you, we've Jesus. already had church. Amen. Amen. And I think everyone tonight that testified and preached a little bit. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Because you were talking about the wonders of our God and how he has blessed us and talking about how we need to recognize, you know, the signs of the times and recognize, you know, that, that everything is in the Lord's hands. But I want to speak a little bit tonight about the master of the wind. <laughs> the master of the wind. Right. Amen. And I know, I know that you know that that God is in control of everything. You know, a lot of people think, well, you know, you know, God ain't in control of the wind. He ain't 
control of this and that. But I will prove to you tonight that he is in control of all things. Amen. 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 And when things that he made get out of control, how many know he knows how to control them? Yes. Amen. Huh? Uh, how many know that the Lord made the wind? Yes. <laughs> how many know he made the seas? Yes. He, made, he made everything that this earth encompasses. Amen. Amen. Is that not right? Amen. 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 But our God has a way of bringing things to pass uh, to open our eyes to some things. And uh, so he will allow certain things to happen and certain things to come about uh, to bring us under conviction. Amen. You see, if you don't ever come under conviction, you'll never change. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 As long as you think everything is right and you are all right and everything's right and the Holy Spirit don't ever convict you that you still got some errors in your life, you will remain the same. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God has been trying to talk to us and to tell us some mm -hmm. things and we have not been listening. Amen. Amen. So sometimes God has to allow some things to wake us up. That's right. All right. Are you hearing what I'm That's saying? Right. Uh, even the, even the word of God talks about when 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 you see the signs of the times, know that the end is near. Yeah. Uh, when you when you hear of wars and rumors of wars and 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 things in diverse places and all kinds of things that are. Uh, 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 are famine in diverse places and famine all over the land and, and all, all these different things. Know that, that the end is near. Uh -huh. We have to look up sometimes, church, and not get so caught up in our everyday life, our everyday day to day. Amen. And realize that there's things that are happening on the horizon that we should be paying attention to. And if we need to get our lives right in any one area, then we should be doing that because the Bible says nobody knows the day nor the hour Amen. when the Son of Man will Amen. come back. He will come back as a thief in the night. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Uh, we had that storm, and it could very well have been that he came back for somebody as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know y'all don't want to hear that. Amen. But it's just the truth anyhow. Man is leaving here every day. Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and don't have to, and I've said this over and over again, that, you know, don't wait till you think that, you know, oh, well, you know, I see the signs and, 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 and I know that when, when, when Jesus is going to come back to get myself right. No, no, no. He said he's coming back as a thief in the night. In other words, you ain't going to know when he's going to come back. Amen. But when he does come back, you better be ready. Amen. Amen. And it don't mean that he's going to come back for all of us all at once. Amen. And I'm not saying that's not going to happen. It is going to happen. But while we are waiting upon this great day, mm -hmm. he's coming back for those one by amen. one every day. Amen. Somebody better say amen. Because it's just the truth anyhow. Amen. amen. And so God is preparing us. So there's things, when you think about all of the tornadoes that have happened in other places, people were not expecting that to be their last day on earth. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But yet some of them lost their lives in the tornado, and I pray that they were ready to go. Amen. Amen. And that's what we've got to do. This, this is just a wake-up call. This is a warning to us to realize there's many things that can take you off this earth. Amen. 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 Am I not right about it? Amen. And you never know when that time is going to come for you. So you need to be ready when it comes. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's time out for playing games with God. And, you know, we get so caught up in all the fun we have and being alive and, and, and living on this earth and all the fun things to do that we forget, amen, we're only traveling through this time. Amen. amen. And there's going to come a time when we're going to have to leave here. So we want to make sure while we're having fun, good clean.
clean fund, that we are also got our hearts right toward God. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 <clears throat> so, I thought about the master of the wind today. In Matthew the 8th chapter, look at verse 23. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. 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 And when he was entered into a ship, talking about Jesus, mm -hmm. his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea. Mm -hmm. That's another word for storm. Mm -hmm. Blustering wind. There arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves. But he was asleep, talking about Jesus. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us. We perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the seas obey him? Amen. Oh, I got them. Lord Jesus, uh, 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 uh. I heard you. To, I heard you tonight in your testimonies that you got in your bathroom and you began to pray and ask God, Amen, because you were fearful, Amen. And he, and I believe that he, 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 he would have said to you just like he said to his disciples, Oh, ye of little faith. And then he rebuked the winds. <laughs> And he told, peace be still, amen. And that's the reason why I believe that Kingsford Heights was spared. Somebody amen. say amen. 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 Come on, give the Lord the praise. Amen. amen. You see, in the word of God, in the word of God, they were with Jesus in the boat. Amen. You were with Jesus in the bathroom. <laughs> Boats today. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
But yet Jesus, amen, stood and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. I believe that when Jesus rebuked the winds and the waves out there at Kingsford Heights, mm -hmm. I believe there was a great calm after that. I heard one of you saying that, that you didn't understand why people was outside walking around. That's because there was a great calm that came around, and they wanted to come out and see just what had happened. Mm -hmm. I know it was a dangerous situation, but they was concerned. Yeah. Amen. And when Jesus rebukes something, there is a great calm. Amen. And if you got if you got a problem in your life yes. that you can't handle, yes. a mountain so high that you can't climb that mountain, yes. whatever the problem may be in your life, I want you to know that God can rebuke that yes. problem in your life, and a great calm yes. will come over Amen. your situation. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Yeah. Because God can rebuke anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, this, uh, this is a good lesson for us to, to, to pray and seek God for every problem that we may have, yes. that he may rebuke the devourer for our sake. That's Amen. the word of God. He said in the, in the word of God, he said, if you serve me, no. yes. he said, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. The devourer is Satan who comes to steal, to kill, yes. and to destroy. Satan is the one that comes to take from you. Satan is the one that comes to take life if he can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I said, if he can. Yes. But see, God can rebuke uh, the devil mm -hmm. from taking your life. Yes. He said, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. The very one that wants to take you off this earth. The very one that wants to, wants to do you harm. To make your life hard. Amen? Mm -hmm. That very one. I want you to know that God said in his word that he would rebuke yes. the devourer for your sake. Amen? Amen? Amen. Go to Job. I want, I want to show you some more of how, how God rebukes the devourer and how he is the master of the wind. What, is, what does master of the wind? Go Job, Job 1 and just, just hang out there for a few minutes. Amen. What does master mean? Master means the one that controls. Amen. Amen. A master technician is one that masters technology. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And Jesus is the master of the wind. That's why he was able to rebuke the wind, and that's why he was able to rebuke the sea and cause a calm to come about in the disciples' lives. Amen? Mm -hmm. Job 1. Let's look at verse 7. Amen. And the Lord said unto Satan, What comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? And then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for naught? Hast thou, hast not thou made a hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? In other words, in other words, Job, haven't you, aren't you protecting Job? Mm -hmm. If you take that hedge out from around Job, and if you stop protecting Job, he'll curse you to your face. See, the devil thinks that as long as you've got things good going on in your life, that God's got a hedge around you. But if he moves that hedge just a little bit, he can get in there and do you harm. 
Amen. But let's, let's look, at, look at verse 12. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he had is in thy power, only upon himself. Put not forth thine hand. Mm -hmm. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when the sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. Mm -hmm. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. And the Sabaeans fell upon them and took them away. Yes, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to, to tell thee. When God took the hedge out from round Job, he told the devil, he said, it's okay, you can, you can do anything you want to do to him except take his life. Mm -hmm. You see, God allowed the wind, the tornado wind, to blow down some trees. God allowed those trees to fall on some houses and some and some cars and all that in Kingston Heights. Mm -hmm. But he said that life is not yours to take. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to allow you to do that because I'm going to use this. Mm -hmm. You see, nothing happens in your life that God don't use yes. to bring you to where he wants you to be. Mm -hmm. That's right. Huh? See, the devil thinks that if he do you evil, you're going to turn around and curse God. Yeah. That's what he thought that, that was going to happen with Job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But Job didn't do that because Job knew who the master of the wind was. Yeah. Job yeah. knew who was, was, was the one that was taking care of him. Job knew who God was. Amen. And Satan caused the oxen and the sheep and the camel to be destroyed and taken. He, allowed, he, 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 he made a way that the servants were killed. Uh -huh. Even the sons and daughters. And then he brought about health problems on Job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want you to read, read uh, verse 18. Uh, mm -hmm. While he was yet speaking, talking about the servant that came, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house and it fell upon the young men and they are dead and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. You say, well, did God allow that? Yes, God allowed it. Because he told Job, he told the devil, he said, you can do anything to Job and everything that Job has, but you cannot take Job's life. That's right. mm -hmm. So the devil was allowed to take from Job. Mm -hmm. Because God wanted Satan to see mm -hmm. that he had a servant yes. that was willing to lose everything. Thing that he had and still not give up on God. Amen. Amen. That's right. You know, we got some people that, that they get so caught up in what they have. Their homes. You've seen it on TV. Oh, my house is gone. And they're standing there alive. But the first <laughs> thing they're talking about is their house, their possessions. I lost everything. <laughs> You know, I'm not making fun of them. I'm just saying this is the truth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because some people don't realize, but you got your life. Yes. Amen. These things can be replaced, Amen. but life cannot be replaced. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Huh? And Job, this is what the devil thought. The devil thought, well, if I take everything off from around him, that he's going to curse God and die. He even began to talk crazy to Job's wife. She said, you just might after he became sick with boils all over his body. 
sick unto death. Yes. And even his wife came to him, and his wife said, he said, she said to him, she says, you ought to just curse your God and die. Job looked at her and said, you sound foolish. <laughs> or you don't sound like my wife. But look at verse 22. In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Amen. In all these, in all this, Job sinned not and charged God foolishly. You know that some folk run around when they lose everything like that? First thing they say, God just took everything from me. Why did God do that? It wasn't God. Mm -mm. It wasn't God. But God allowed it. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. He could have stopped it. Mm -hmm. But he allowed it. That's why I say, God allowed what happened. That, that was not, that was, you know, people think, well, oh man, that was an accident. No, God allowed it to happen. Mm -hmm. We need to take from that why did God allow that to happen to Kingsford Heights and the other surrounding? Why did God allow it? There's a reason for it. And everyone that was affected by it, they should have a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. And they should realize it's time to get your life right with God. You know, it's one thing, we, we got TVs and, 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 and we can see all these things happen in other places. And, and the first thing we think of, well, wow, wow, that was really terrible. You know, and we never think it'll happen to us. I was devastated when I drove around with my daughter in the car looking at the trees that was uprooted in the houses and, 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 and over. This had never happened in Kingswood Heights before. Not in the 68 years that I've been alive, I have never seen that in Kingswood Heights. Amen. Seen and heard some, some roofs that rolled up. But never seen no houses devastated. Never seen that kind of destruction in all the years that I've been alive. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But what am I saying? I'm saying that we have to realize that this is a wake-up call to us. Jesus. Amen. To realize, you know, when we had 9-11, <laughs> that should have been a wake-up call to America. Amen. Amen. And I know it shook everybody to their core. Mm -hmm. That something like that could happen in our United States. But soon after that, we went right back to our same old ways. <laughs> what do you learn from that? We need to realize that God is letting you know you're not you're not invincible. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. And I'm just, I'm just not allowing devastation and destruction in other places. I'm also allowing it right here where you live. Amen. And I love America, but I'm going to tell you, a lot of folks think that America, America is, is untouchable. Church, ain't nothing untouchable with God. Because if he made it, he can destroy it. Amen. 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 And if he made it for us to enjoy, but he didn't make it for us to enjoy where we think that we, got, we are more than he is. Amen. And we don't put this country above God. Amen. And so many have do, are doing that. But I just got to tell you something. That, that, you know, God said in his word that it is the Christian people, those that serve him, and he know who his is. Yeah. You don't know who his is, but he know who his is. Amen. Amen. We go around, we try to, that one say, that one ain't say. Now, that's judgmental, church. Amen. You don't know who's saved and who ain't saved. Only God knows who's saved. 
Your best bet is to try to live the best way you know how for God and let God be the judge. Yeah. Come on, somebody, give the Lord praise. Yeah. But I got news for you. Amen. This country is ruled and regulated according to our government. Amen. And the government is ruling it. But it ain't got nothing to do with what God is doing in your life. Amen. Amen. And we need, to, we need to stop running around talking about talking about all kinds of things that we don't know what we're talking about. Amen. Amen. All we need to do is praise God, worship God, and God is going to take care of you. I said God is going to take yes, care amen. of you even in the midst amen. of a country that is not all Christian. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. He's going to take care of you. Amen. Be grateful that you live in a place where you are free you, to Lord. exercise you, your right to serve God. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's what it's all about. But we're not supposed to pass judgment on other folk. Just be glad you you trying to make it in and that you right. might make it in. The Bible says the line we think is going to make it in ain't going to make it in. But some of them that, that we think ain't going to make it in, they may very well be sitting there when you get there. <laughs> Am I not right about right. it? Amen. Because you're not their judge. God is their judge. Yes, yes. Glory be to God. I know. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. Amen. He is the master of the wind. He's the master of our souls. He is the master of everything. And we have to give him all honor and praise. Amen. Amen. Come on, give him some more praise. Amen. 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 I see a lot of things. And I can be judgmental too. Amen. But I learned through the word of God. And we're not supposed to be judging because the very time we point the finger at somebody else, there's how many pointing back at you? Huh? There's four pointing back at you. Amen? So stop pointing the finger at other folk and make sure your life is right. Amen? Take care of yourself. Amen? Amen? Ain't that all right? If everybody in this church were to take care of their self, the Holy Spirit would move and reign in here, and I tell you, the devil wouldn't have a chance in nobody's life. Come on, give the Lord some praise. over here that you get a chance to drop a seed to somebody, you drop that seed to them. Amen. Why are you talking about what has happened in the last few days in our area? It's a perfect opportunity <coughs> to drop a seed. Excellent. Amen. Acts the 27th chapter. It's a good chance for you to drop a seed. Amen. You got people around you that don't go to church and, and you get a chance to start talking to them. Drop a seed about coming to church. Amen. Amen. And getting their lives right. Amen. 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 Not judgmental wise, but just talking to them about the goodness of Jesus. Amen. Acts the 27th chapter. And let's look at verse 13. Uh-huh. And when the south wind blew softly, when the south wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their purpose, loosing this, they sailed close by Crete. Now this is talking about when, when Paul was being trans, transferred, amen, to stand trial. And they set sail, amen. Mm -hmm. And the wind was blowing softly. And Paul had already told them that he felt in his spirit that they should not leave going where they were going because there was a storm that was coming. But they didn't listen to Paul because it was their job to get him to court. Amen? Mm -hmm. But not long after, there arose against it a tempestuous wind 
called the Eurachlodon. And when the ship was caught and could not bear up into the wind, we let her drive. And running on a certain island, which is called Claudia, we had much work to come by the boat because they ran into a storm. Not long after they left, there arose a tempestuous wind called the Eurachlodon, which is something that happens in the Mediterranean Sea. And if you keep following and reading, I'm not going to read it all tonight, but I want you to know that they could have all been killed. Amen. Because the boat was sinking. And they began to throw overboard stuff that was on, on, the, on the ship so that they could stay afloat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then it kept on and kept on and things got even worse yet. And as they kept going, and things kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. There was an angel that came to Paul and told Paul, he says, he told him that it was going to happen and that, but no lives would be lost. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That's why I tell you that Jesus is the master of the wind. Praise Him. I don't care what storm, I don't care what, what happens in, in this life that we live. Jesus is master. And He can calm the sea. He can calm the wind. And He can cause no life to be taken. Amen. Ain't that all right? All right. Amen. 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 We, how many give God praise tonight? Amen. 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 I want somebody to say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. For saving us. For saving, saving us. us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. For delivering us. For delivering Amen. us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. For healing us. For healing us. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you honor. And we give you glory. We give you glory. In all things. In all things. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen.